Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Michelle and today we're going to talk about what makes ENFPs awesome. Now many of you have been asking for this video for a long time. A lot of people who started on my channel were actually ENFPs looking for other ENFPs. A. Uh, so when I started this series, I wanted to focus on the other personalities, but now that I'm down to only three left and everybody wanted an ENFP character ranking video, I decided now is the perfect time. So by the time you're watching this, that ENFP ranking video might already be out. And if so, go ahead and check it out. Link up there in the corner. But let's go ahead and discuss what makes ENFPs awesome. To talk about what makes ENFPs awesome, we have to talk about the cognitive functions. We're talking Neo Jungian typology. So, for ENFPs, they have cognitive functions in the following order. First, they have extroverted intuition, then they have introverted feeling, then extroverted thinking, and finally, introverted sensing. So, what's all that mean? How does that all work? Let's go ahead and talk about that. So like I said, ENFPs lead with extroverted intuition. Extroverted intuition is the ability to see constant connections between things. They're constantly making connections between two ideas, two things, looking back to their past, connecting the current moment to the past, connecting a past moment to the future, connecting two completely unbelievably opposite ideas, trying to combine them into some kind of goodness, and just constantly trying to view from other people's perspectives. NE or extroverted intuition is really good for helping to view from other people's perspectives. And ENFPs do this especially a little bit more than ENTPs, although both do it. And that is because of their introverted feeling. Introverted feeling is how you feel about things, what's, what matters to you, what's important, what's valuable. And ENFPs maybe don't spend the most amount of time thinking about this, but are very attuned with how they feel about things. When something new comes into their life, they might get excited about it, but they're quickly going to try to determine how do I feel about this? Is this a good thing or is this a bad thing? Did I just do a good thing or did I just do a bad thing? And they're constantly making evaluative judgments of that sort. Introverted feeling is also part of why they try to view from other people's perspectives. So introverted feeling really cares a lot about their interpersonal relationships and extroverted intuition allows the ENFP to see from the perspective of the person that maybe they're having an issue with or maybe the person that someone else is having an issue with and try to understand what they're thinking, why they're thinking a certain way. And I think this is a lot of why ENFPs in particular are drawn to MBTI so that we can better understand the perspectives of other people and see just how different those can be. Because although we can see from other people's perspectives, sometimes we do that, but we still view it as if how we would feel if we were the other person rather than how the other person would feel because we still kind of impart ourselves into that view. That being said, introverted feeling with the extroverted intuition makes for some really good times, those aha moments. ENFPs love epiphanies. Epiphanies are like the greatest thing in the world. They feel so good when you're like, aha, I figured it out. That is what it all means. And that's a really exciting thing for an ENFP. But interestingly enough, ENFPs have tertiary extroverted thinking. And this means that they actually love organizing and making plans and trying to figure out the best way to make things work. Extroverted thinking is a external logic that tries to figure out the most efficient and most effective way of doing something. And ENFPs have a childlike attachment to their extroverted thinking. It pairs with their introverted intuition and they can come up with plan after plan after plan after plan after plan after plan, just like 
planning. We love to plan and we can be really good at planning, planning on the fly. If you want to make a plan quickly, call up your ENFP because they're going to make some kind of plan that you never would have thought possible and they're going to tell you exactly how it is possible because ENFPs, although we can be a little bit all ahead in the clouds, we do actually have this thing called introverted sensing. And although our introverted sensing is in the inferior position, which means when an ENFP is a little bit immature, it's a little bit underdeveloped, but as they develop themselves, they grow this. Introverted sensing is the function that allows a person to reflect upon events that have happened and to build habits. So ENFPs, when they make plans, try to be really realistic. They try to think about their past experiences, what has worked and what hasn't, and use that to inform the plans that they're trying to make excitedly for you because they love making plans. They make plans for themselves, they make plans for everyone. Just, there is no other type who love, I don't think any other type loves planning as much as ENFPs. The problem is we don't always follow through, but that's why we develop that introverted sensing because when an ENFP has developed their introverted sensing, their ability to reflect on the past, their ability to learn from their past mistakes and to build conscionable habits that help them follow through, they can actually make those plans happen. If if the world would just let ENFPs plan, they would never follow through with anything. They just make plan after plan after plan for everyone. We'll just be everyone's planner. We don't want a detail plan. We don't want to go into all the little nitty gritties. We just want to give you a good overarching plan. Hey, if you do this, this, and this, you can have that as the outcome. Very optimistic thinkers we are. And that's what makes ENFPs awesome. We're an amazing type. I'm a little biased because this is how I am. This is my brain and I love just, um, I love it. I love being an ENFP. It's pretty great. It has its problems. <laughs> it definitely has its problems. And, uh, yeah, but overall being an ENFP is pretty awesome. If you're an ENFP, I want you right now to know that you are amazing. You are awesome. I love you so much. And if you're not an ENFP, this is why you should respect and love your ENFPs because they care about you. And if they're trying to plan things for you, they care about you. They want to help you. They want to make your life better. If you have a personal problem and you want to figure out how to solve it, go to an ENFP. They love solving interpersonal problems, speaking from experience. <laughs> but that being said, if you're an ENFP, did I catch you? Did I get you right? And if you're not an ENFP, have you met ENFPs? Does this well describe what you like about ENFPs? If I missed anything that you love about ENFPs, go ahead and pop that down below in the comments. If there's anything you want to add as an ENFP, pop that down below in the comments. Again, this video exists to build you up, make you feel better, make you feel proud of the strengths because there are definitely weaknesses with every type and it's really good to focus on the weaknesses so you can develop yourself and make yourself better. But it's really important to also focus on what's good, what's really great about you. All that being said, yes, I'm biased, I love ENFPs, but all types are valuable and have their place in society and should be respected as thus. That's the whole purpose of this entire series is to build people up and talk about the strengths. I'm also working on an antagonist series, so if you wanna talk about the weaknesses, there's that too. But with all that being said, I want to thank you so much for watching, and I hope that you have a beautiful, amazing, fantastic day. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and if you want to support me and the channel, go ahead and check out buymeacoffee.com slash heartofmichi. Bye-bye!